everybody, it's Kim. I'm back with the June portion of the event calendar that I'm working on from close to my heart using the stamp set from a constant campaign last year. I don't know the name of it. There's not a name on it. But anyway, it has a sentiment and an embellishment or an element for each month of the year. For June, we're going to use the stopwatch with the sentiment of your guiding hand will remain with me forever. June is Father's Day month, so that fits pretty good with that month, I thought. I'm sure that's what it was for. So I'm using the Dakota paper from Close to My Heart. So let's get started. For the first piece, I cut a piece of the gray cardstock at 3.5 by 3.5. Then I cut a piece of from the Dakota paper of the blue with the like paisley designs on it. I cut that at 3 by 3. Then I cut two pieces just because I love the paper I couldn't decide so I'm using a lot of it so I cut two more pieces at two by two one is the wood grain and one is the houndstooth pattern and I might have to stop this for a minute while my computer is in a cooling off mode I can really hear the fan going so let me see if I can get rid of that noise I'll be right back I'm back that's better maybe I think it's gonna stay on we'll see alright so anyway I cut two pieces two by two and we're going to just layer those on. I'm just going to kind of see how this looks here before I glue everything down. And then the sentiment I cut at two and a half by three quarters of an inch. And it just worked out that way. I actually stamped it and then I just cut it with my trimmer down to the size that I was wanting it to be. So let's glue some of this stuff down here. <clears throat> And I still have six of these stamp sets left. If anybody is interested, you can go to my blog and read up on the giveaway. I won't sit here and go over it again every single video. I'm sure those of you who have been watching every video are getting tired of hearing it. But I'd like to give these away. So these make a really great gift. I gave one to my mother-in-law last year and she didn't need it she remembers everybody's birthday a week ahead of time you have a card in the mail without fail um, I'm gonna ink that with some chocolate first before I stamp that down I should have done that with the other two but oh well and then I gave one to my mom last year also and um, she's not as good at it but that's okay and I try every year my New Year's resolution is to to try to remember everybody's birthday and my brother starts off with January January 9th and you know you get through the holidays and you're just like whew that's over with and next thing I know it's January 10th and I blew it again so <laughs> he gets a belated a lot because I just forget. And then I'm going to put this piece up in this corner so that we can see both patterns there. And then this guy is going to go kind of close to the top up here. And I think that'll probably be about enough on there. Um, I'm going to stick this little stopwatch down with my sticky dot things. I've been working pretty good on these. It's really pretty sticky. I'm really amazed. It's a lot easier to get it on with that than with the glue gun so I'm gonna put that right there and then I have a couple little brads that I'm gonna put on I'll find my little brad poker thing here I know that's not the technical name for it so I 
Ugh, can't get it open. So I want this little kind of like a pointer thing to go on there. So I'm going to put it right about there. And I think I'm going to put two little brads up here. Just kind of make that little, little masculine for June for Father's Day. Okay, there's the top, so we can put that down. I'm going to put an extra strip across that brad area there just to make sure they stick down good. Okay, and then for the bottom, I cut another piece of the gray at three and a half by one and a half, and a piece of the paisley at three by one and a quarter. And I'm going to just put that down and a couple brads and call it good. I don't want too much embellishment because I want it to be kind of a fatherly kind of page, so. Ah, oh, that's really crooked. Really, really, really crooked. Try that again. Yeah, that's not very even. Alright. I think I'm going to run out of luck here in a second with this glue. is not going to let me peel that off again, probably. Probably lucky it let me it off twice. Why I'm not getting this even, I don't know. Let's see here. Because the angle that I'm at. Okay, I can live with that. Alright, I'm going to do two little bigger kind of brads here. And of course, I've lost one of them. So... Grab another one real quick. Be easier than looking for another one, probably. That's the same color. No, it's not. Sorry, guys. There. So it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Let's just put these. Just kind of eyeball on it here. One there and one into about there or so, and we'll call this good. I'm going to use the same paper for July, just some different pieces of it, I think. 
so I hope you stick around for July. There is the bottom of June. Sorry, my camera died, and I oh, hope that hasn't been crooked forever. My camera died, and I had to plug it in, so it's being pulled. The cord's weighing it down, so there's the top half of June, and there's the bottom half of June. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Get creative, do it how you like it, and have fun with it. See you for July. Bye-bye.